Okay, in this example, we are going to look at vectors. And we're going to look at a point, 3, 0, negative 2, which lies on this line. It doesn't ask us to show that. It tells us that it's there. Where lambda is a real parameter, that's, that's fine. Find the coordinates of one point, there are two of them, which is six units from A and on the line. <clears throat> okay, so basically you've got a line, you've got a point on that line, and you want to find this point and this point, or sorry, one of the others, because you just need one of them, and it needs to be six units from point A. Okay? <clears throat> find the coordinates of one of those points. All right. One of the things that you could think about is parametrically, you could convert this to parametric equations, find the difference between those parametric values and point A, and once you find that distance, then you set that distance to 6. That's the hard way, um, and that's what I'll go through first, and then I'll show you a, a bit of a nicer solution. Okay, find in this coordinates of one point, which is 6 units from A. Okay, so 6 is the distance. Now I'm going to have a lot underneath here. Let's focus on x first. Let's take 3 and we'll subtract 3 plus 2 lambda. Squared. Now let's look at the y's. 0, subtract nothing, minus 2 lambda, again squared, with our distance formula from the formula booklet, minus 2, subtract negative uh, 2, and plus lambda, squared. Okay. As we simplify this, 6 equals square root. It looks pretty bad at the start, but watch. 3 minus 3 goes away. 2 lambda squared is 4 lambda squared. Here is again 4 lambda squared. So we have 4 lambda squared plus 4 lambda squared. Minus 2 plus 2 goes away, and you end up with lambda squared. And you can see this falls out really nicely. 4 plus 4 plus 1 is 9 lambda squared. Square root of that is 6. Squaring both sides, 36 is 9 lambda squared. Divide by 9, 4 is lambda squared. That means lambda is plus or minus root 4 plus or minus 2. When we put lambda in here, we're going to get the point here. When we put negative 2 in, we're going to get the point here, both of which are a distance of 6. Now you just need 1. So therefore, uh, 3, 0, minus 2, plus 2, 2, negative 2, and 1. Okay? Then, 3 plus 4 is 7. 0 minus 4, uh, plus 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. That's one of the points. If I wanted the other point, which is also for full marks, I would put in negative 2 and I would get the same result. So that will always work whenever you have a distance on a line. You can plug it through here. This one has a little bit of a nicer solution. I'll show you here in green. The magnitude of the direction vector, 2 squared, 2 squared, 1 squared, 2, 4, right? uh, 4, 8, 9, root of 9 is 3. It has a length of 3. That means that immediately from that, since we know that it has a length of 3, then you know we want to move 6 units, so you want to move 2 in either direction. So if you make this connection in your head that the length of the direction vector is 3 
That tells you to go 6, you need to have lambda as 2 or negative 2, because it doesn't specify the direction, it just says one of those two points. So the green is the much more elegant solution. The blue will get you the answer every time.